Bill Stout, perhaps you and Bob Sharp out there can uh, give us some idea of what it's like to be sitting up in that yeah. spacecraft right now. I don't think we can really do that, Walter, since uh, I'm sure that Shara and Stafford are uh, desperately unhappy at this point. But the remarkable thing that Bob was talking to me about a moment ago is that in this three-second period you talk about, and you cut that in half, three seconds between ignition and liftoff, mm -hmm. uh, Wally Shara had an option. Either he could stay with the thing, or he could eject and get out. And he chose to stay, right? Uh, yes, in this uh, area, the, uh, of course, we have a malfunction detection system on board the spacecraft that uh, both McDonnell and uh, Martin people have worked out in conjunction to analyze the uh, situations on the booster with. And uh, uh, Wally and Tom have spent hours and hours of practice on every conceivable type of malfunction that they could possibly think of in a simulator uh, practicing to do the right thing. Uh, one of the malfunctions which was practiced uh, was just exactly what happened here, a, uh, an automatic shutdown for the booster on the pad, and in this case the uh, engine lights, uh, first stage engine lights on the panel will come on red and uh, <coughs> indicate a shutdown. Now, normally if uh, this would, would have happened a fraction of a second later after they had received a liftoff signal, it would have called for an ejection. Now, the way they differentiate uh, a uh, the type of action you take here, of course, is by looking at the event timer on the panel, which starts uh, counting up at liftoff. So, uh, uh, Shara interpreted the thing correctly, uh, did nothing, did not eject, and did a perfect job in there, which uh, I think is real commendable. What do you think of people like Wally Shara, who can make that sort of decision in the space of perhaps a second and a half? Well, I like them. They, they're... <laughs> They're uh, real well-trained, capable individuals, and... Uh, uh, Bob, excuse they, me, but let's go to Paul sure. Haney here now for a second. Right. They're cleared for takeoff. Roger, Scramble 1. 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 Roger, voice of the astronauts as they had that ignition failure. Right, Yeah. Turn on 
operative. They got a light off there. They did, huh? They got ignition and a whole kill right afterwards. seen as the technicians uh, in their asbestos suits uh, work around the base of the big uh, thruster engines in the final shutdown phases of those engines, cutting fuel lines and so forth, turning them off, perhaps even beginning to look for the cause of the difficulty even before Shira and Stafford have been removed from the uh, spacecraft. As we heard in that conversation, uh, taped uh, shortly after the uh, shutdown of the engine. And weren't those astronauts amazingly calm up there, facing disaster? Their voices were even calmer as they reported the shutdown and the potential and read out uh, their instruments uh, to the uh, blockhouse than the voices in the blockhouse themselves seemed to be. Yes. But they were shortly after uh, the engine shut down, they're told to arm the squibs and stow their D-rings. Uh, what that means is to, uh, to uh, uh, put away the equipment with which they would eject from the spacecraft. So it was assumed that they were in uh, a safe suits, uh, work around the base of the big uh, thruster engines in the final shutdown phases of those engines cutting fuel lines and so forth, turning them off, perhaps even beginning to look for the cause of the difficulty, even before Shira and Stafford have been removed from the uh, spacecraft. As we heard in that conversation, uh, taped uh, shortly after the uh, shutdown of the engine, and weren't those astronauts amazingly calm up there, facing disaster, their voices were even calmer as they reported the shutdown and the potential and read out uh, their instruments uh, to the uh, blockhouse than the voices in the blockhouse themselves seemed to be. Yes. But they were shortly after uh, the engine shut down, uh, told to arm the squibs and stow their D-rings. Uh, what that means is to, uh, to uh, uh, put away the equipment with which they would eject from the spacecraft, so it was assumed that they were in a, a safe position. 